Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. Four ways to build a business that's remarkable, profitable, and enjoyable. Now, I want you to start showing your customers the value your business can actually give them. I've got a question for you, and I want you to be absolutely honest with me. Does this actually sound like your service business? And by that, I know uh, the people that are listening to this podcast are coaches, consultants, and small, medium business owners. Now, where you are right now, I want you to be very truthful and be honest with the questions I'm going to be asking you right now. Do you spend most of your days working by yourself on your computer in an isolated room and just looking at your phone or your inbox hoping somebody has sent you an inquiry for the work that you do? Or do you spend the last moments on your pillow every single night worried about how you're going to get clients? Or are you actually starting to hate, um, you know, the way Facebook has changed into meta and you're thinking it's going to raise your ad spend or ad costs? Or do you worry? Actually, this is a good one. Are you worried that there's going to be yet another lockdown coming your way? Or do you worry about losing all your clients just because um, everything is closed and nobody um, is going anywhere like we experienced with the lockdowns, et cetera, et cetera? I want to pause this question to you and just maybe put it back to you and, and, and maybe get you to realize that we are now living in a very different world. And it's not the same that it like it used to be, you know. They are some old concepts that we need to let go of speedy quick. And if you're willing to do that, I'm hoping this podcast will shed some light as to what your business should utterly be. And what if your service business didn't have to go through all those things that I mentioned above? You know, what if it didn't have to be like that? What if there was a better and easier way? And what if... You could have all the benefits of having a monthly recurring cash flow and it didn't even require you to beg people to pay you or to listen to your stuff or to share, comment and like your content. What if you actually had time and freedom together, which is very elusive to a lot of people. Now, today I want you to actually start showing your customers the value that your business can give to them. You know, as the world reopens, Our customers are changing their mindset and adjusting back to the everyday life. You know, we are now in the new normal, but nobody quite knows what that looks like. And guess what? They haven't stopped spending on products or services or anything that we're offering to them. They're buying coaching from other people. They're buying consulting services from other people. They're buying goods and services. Commerce has not stopped. And if you actually want to prove me wrong on this concept, look at how this particular lockdown has has been the biggest cash grab. We've seen people becoming the richest any human being has possibly been. You know, the likes of Elon Musk, um, you know, Jeff Bezos, they're just in the 200s of billions. Money that's so much money that it's bigger than other gross domestic policies or GDPs of smaller countries like Finland. How can one person have so much money that if he would give away a billion to the whole world, he will still have not even touched like 95% of his income or his actual money. Jeff Bezos is on record to be earning about $150,000 a minute. That's per minute. 
in the four minutes you've been listening to this uh, podcast, he's gone on and gained or, you know, earned almost $600,000. So like I'm saying, you may have started your business around something that you're passionate about, but you're going to need clarity on where you are headed to. Where we've been is not where we're going to go towards. So the, um, I think it was Albert Einstein who said the mindset that brought us where we are now is not the same mindset that's going to take us further. And one important step for you to have a remarkable and profitable business is having a vision and a plan for what the business is going to have to evolve into. I think when we were during lockdown, you heard a lot of people talking about pivoting and changing, yada, yada, yada. Well, yes, some people were just being opportunistic, but do they actually pivot into something that is needed in the new normal? Yes, I'm going to use that in word because this is a new normal and we got to approach it with the innovation, the relationships and the genuine authenticity of actually helping our customers be, do, and have a happier existence. You know, you need to be very specific. Will you always be like a solo, um, solopreneur type operation? Or do you want to build a business that is now run by virtual assistants simply because we can now actually afford to have remote help? Or would you consider bringing employees on and have that whole headache of um, trying to figure out, should you bring in people that have been vaxxed or not vaxxed and all of that stuff? So it's going to be your goal and if it's going to be your mission to actually start, scale, and grow the business that you have currently. So I'm here to inform you that you could actually have an entire business whose financial livelihood was not in the hands of the mighty Google or Facebook. You could actually... Carefully choose the clients that you want to work with just because you really vibe with them. And you can work with clients simply because you believed in what they were actually selling. And you were not dependent on ads or posting regularly on social media, um, you know, just so that people can see you constantly. So if it is your goal to build a remarkable and profitable business that you possibly can sell one day or continuously make a profit from here are four ways that you can build it in a way that leads to clarity and growth okay and by clarity I'm, I'm literally letting you know that clarity is not like the name of your yoga teacher or something like that you know when you're driving and you're going someplace else and you're sitting in your car you have the windscreen in front of you. The reason why the windshield or the windscreen is bigger than the rear view mirror is so that you have full vision of where you're headed to. Because if you can't see around the bends or around the corner, how are you going to be able to steer the car and know that you're going in the right direction? All right. So the first thing that you want to look at, if you're going to be creating a business that's remarkable, profitable and enjoyable is to create a larger entity while you're just using your personal brand. Like I kid you not, you know, if you want to build a business that people are going to remark about, people need to know who is driving the business. And especially if you're going to be selling this business a little bit later on in your retirement, I'm not sure what your strategy is. To build a sellable business, you need a structure that actually allows the business to be sold. So if your business is wholly tied to you, it might actually be difficult to sell um, later on. So if you're going to be creating, let's say, you know, like a private limited it, it actually helps you build a sellable business and, you know, your personal brand strategies are still essential because people buy from other people. I mean, there's a great example. Um, if you've been in the industry long enough, you know a guy called Gary Vaynerchuk. He's built, uh, I think it's called Vayner Media, using the reach that his personal brand has created. So obviously, you can actually go and buy shares into Vayner Media, or he can sell off Vayner Media, and it doesn't totally depend on his personal brand that is created. So for you to build a legacy brand, 
you know, you first have to come up with the actual structure and the name or convert an existing business so that it is appealing to other people that might be interested in it or want to be a part of it. You know, you can use uh, the Internet and social media to then leverage the exposure that you can, um, you know, garner from you creating content and marketing using your own personal brand alongside the entity brand. And then you can build up two different assets. A lot of people don't quite know how this works and I'm not in the right position to give you any advice. This is something that you need to speak to with your accountant or your lawyers. But what I know is if you can have both, you can build a business that other people want to buy into and let me tell you something. The idea of entrepreneurship is freedom and financial independence. And I did mention earlier on, what if you could have both? And the goal should be to actually build a business that can function without your constant direct involvement and building a larger entity just really helps you achieve your goals and visions. Okay. So I read somewhere that says that a business is a commercial profitable enterprise that works without you. So if you're going to be working and creating a business that's remarkable, make sure that at least you're building one, your own personal brand, and two, you're building the actual brand for the business alongside. So if that's something that you're keen on exploring, why don't you jump onto our website, www.livelongdigital.com.au, and we will be able to actually look at what structure you've created, and we will be able to bring both brands into play, okay? And once you've created, you know, the setup of your business, which I think a lot of us have already, you want to use a value-first approach to marketing. You see, the reason why we create these podcasts, the reason why we create all of this content is so that we can give people an outline of what and how we can help them before they actually engage with us. You know, it's going to take you a long time for you to convince people to have, um, you know, a chat with you if they don't quite know who you are and what it is that you can help them with. Like, I, I kid you not, it won't take you long to scroll through the internet and experience, you know, a full on hush sales ads and people just trying to throw their business in front of people who don't quite know who they are. And that's a lot of wasted ad spend. Too much content being published, you know, out there that's just sell, 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 sell and not enough value. You know, if you are putting content out there because people are coming to the internet to get information and if your brand is the one that's providing that information, then they get to know you, like you and trust you. And it's super easy for people to do business with you if they know, um, like and trust you. OK, and a lot of people are just trying to go for the sale without providing value first. Obviously, it's like asking a girl to marry you on the first date. It doesn't work like that. So for you to build a business that's remarkable, profitable, and enjoyable, and a business that actually scales, please do not just spray and pray with your marketing and hope that people are just going to buy from you before you've given value first. One good way to actually convert more cold um, customers, these are people that haven't heard about you or people that don't quite know um, how you operate, is to give them value first. You know, Recipro reciprocity will work in your favor if you're giving people value upfront in exchange for either an email address or for them to actually solve their problem because you're helping them by actually helping them. Let me tell you what, this, what is called ad fatigue. People are tired of ads. They just want real value through, you know, the content that they're consuming every single day. People are searching for answers to their problems. And if your solutions can be put in front of them easy, guess what? They're going to choose you when they're ready to make a commitment. All right. Like I said, people have ad fatigue. All right. So when you're an entrepreneur or coach or consultant, your business should be adding value first. And if you're adding value first, you will easily stand above the screams of other people that are saying, look at me, look at me, look at me without having done anything prior. 
Your customers and consumers want to know how and why your business has started on the path you're using uh, to grow and what examples you can give them of people that have gotten results from the work that you're doing. And if you're not showing that right from the get-go, how are people going to know that you're the right kind of person with the right solution for whatever problem that they have? You know, they're going to want, you know, high performance strategies. Like we're a digital marketing agency. Every single day, I have to be giving out digital marketing tactics, um, you know, or tools, strategies so that people can, um, you know, capture leads and then nurture them and then hope that one day if it's done well, those leads will convert into sales. If you're a coach, you need to be giving people wellness optimization tips so that they are healthy um, on their way towards working with you, you know, and, you know, try and give people how to based content, which they can use before they spend any money with you, you know, just really start taking a long term approach to your marketing and converting customers. It usually uh, turns casual visitors into followers and then eventually customers when they take, you know, the value first uh, that you're bringing in. And when you take this value first approach to digital marketing, let me tell you something, man, you will have people talking about you at a barbecue and you are giving people ammunition to choose you over any other person who does the same thing uh, in the event that they're making a decision in the boardroom. And once you've gotten the people in place, once you've got them, um, you know, in your email list, try and make offers that actually have practical consumer value. You know what? I, I, I know that at the end of this, I have products that I sell. I have services that I sell and packages and everything else. But I want to make sure that the products that I'm selling are absolutely needed in the marketplace because your business offers should, should be clear and be based on practical value. If you're going to be building a business that's remarkable, profitable, and enjoyable, that value should be through maybe the software, the services, the physical and digital products, the courses, whatever it is. Don't just put things together into a bundle and think that the customer is going to buy just because you've got a dollar sign in front of a couple of numbers, which you are expecting people to pay you before they have even seen if it's valuable for them or not. You know, that's where you really need to identify your target audience. And that's where you really need to understand what their pain point is and match whatever problem that they have with the solution through your products or your services. Have product offerings for every segment of your target audience, you know, ranging from, you know, the lower tier premium. Like this podcast is a product. I am creating content with the hopes that one day you will reciprocate this um, offer and be like, hey, I think that guy might know a thing or two. Let me just hear him out in a consultation. But I've earned that right. I've earned that permission by having given first. So you want to focus on tangible results and clear takeaways for your customers every step of the buyer's journey so that people will, um, you know, self judge whether your product is is the right thing for them or not and they'll see the value you know um with this and once your business is remarkable the lesser you actually have to market um your business all right and once everything is in place just keep showing up and keep adding your building blocks um towards creating a remarkable and profitable and enjoyable business apparently people have to hear you or see you at least 11 times before they actually make a decision, all right? So a lot of the reasons why a lot of industry leaders um, fail in business is because they get too complacent and comfortable and they don't show up at all. But if you see the industry leaders that are, are building larger audiences, it's because they're consistent about showing up and adding value. You know, look at any prominent person in your industry or any prominent YouTuber or any influencer. And by influencer, I'm not talking about the naked girls on Instagram or any other big name entrepreneur out there. You'll see a history of consistency. They have been showing up. They have been adding value. And each time that they're showing up, every 30 minutes is building towards adding value 
and gaining trust and credibility within the industry. So growth starts with you being clear on your overall goals. Whatever it is that you deem that your business is, is prepared to be providing in the future. And if you're, um, you know, if you're content, creating content and, you know, keeping a smaller business model, that's fine. You know, if you're not producing enough content, that's okay. But if your goal is to build a scalable and sellable business that's remarkable and, um, you know, you, you're profitable and you actually enjoy working in it, consider how you're going to be uh, looking into these four points that I've just mentioned. I literally can guarantee you that you can build a business that's, that grows beyond you and you can invest all your time, money and effort and have something that you can literally pass on to the next generation and you strategically create freedom for yourself. All right. I can guarantee you that if you, you've been a coach or consultant or service business, um, you know, person for a while, all of this sounds logical. This is what we're teaching our customers, but we are not actually doing it ourselves. I want you to start escaping, running a typical boring business the way that everybody does it, you know, by uh, maybe following some of the steps that we're doing here. I want you to escape the trap of being subservient to your clients because you haven't given enough information. So you have to always stay on the phone and give people instructions on how to use your product. I want you to escape having to reinvent the wheel every time with a new client. You know why? Because you haven't given value upfront. I want you to escape running a business that is not really scalable or profitable. Start putting content out there. Start really wanting to um, establish yourself as an industry uh, leader. And if you're ready to escape the trap of working for money and being your client's slave, I really want you to strap yourself in, look at what we're doing. And the best way to do that is to download our online prosperity blueprint. You know, I really want you to reinvent everything that you've done or reconsider how you're running your business so that it becomes profitable and enjoyable. Now, I got a question now because I started off with questions earlier on. Are you actually ready for your best year ever? I want you to start attracting highly qualified leads who want what you've got without you having to stress all over it to get um, you know, them to work for you. I know that you deserve a successful business that's profitable and enjoyable. And if you're ready, just download the 90 day business blueprint or if you've already done that, schedule a call. Let's see where you are. And definitely, I will be able to share with you all that I have known um, and all that I have for you to build a business that's remarkable, profitable, and enjoyable. Well, I'll see you when you ring. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, let's continue the conversation in the Live Long Digital community. Become a Live Long Digital community member today. This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So look no further than the Live Long Digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au. Network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au.